in today's tutorial we are going to make some daisies using cotton yarn. Let's begin to do this next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today I'm going to teach you how to do some daisies using cotton yarn. You can apply it to flip flops or doing any kind of accessories. You can uh, substitute with acrylic yarn if you wish as well. If you'd like to apply, apply this to a hat and etc. This is a very easy pattern available on Yarnspirations.com. I'll provide a link in the more information of this video. It's only got three rounds to it and it's a multi layer. You can't really see it clearly on this photograph here but you can see it online that there's actually two layers of of leaves or of flower petals that are going all the way around. Today's tutorial you are going to need cotton yarn. You can either go with the Bernat Handicrafter or you can go with uh, Lily Sugar and Cream and uh, for tutorial reasons I can't use white on my background to make it into a daisy so I'm just gonna substitute and have some fun with some colors today. In today's tutorial you're gonna need a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook today and if you're gonna apply it to flip flops you're gonna need, to need some glue in order to attach. Let's uh, create a slip knot to begin and insert our hook and let's begin to do this flower. So we're gonna chain five to create a center ring. So this never counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five and insert it into the beginning chain just like so. Yarn over, pull through and this will create a nice center ring of your flower. Keep this color, do not change it yet. Let's begin round number one. Round number one is really quite straightforward. This whole thing is straightforward if you ask me. So we're gonna chain up uh, one and chain up one and inside the center of the ring I need you to place ten single crochets going all the way around. So just go right into the center of the ring, pull through and then pull through the two loops and that's one single crochet and let's do ten of those. So that was one. So you got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Now you're gonna have to go into the very first stitch. So which one is it? Because sometimes people go into the wrong one. So the easiest way is to count back from the hook. So go right underneath it and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. As an experienced crochet I did not need to do that but of course you're learning here today. So that is a little uh, uh, secret there. So what I want you to do now is that we're done with this yellow yarn. So let's trim it and let's get that yarn out of here. So let's just trim that yarn here and just pull it through the loop. It locks it into position and I want you to just use your crochet hook and weave it in and out of the stitches on the outside layer. Go on about four or five of these just to catch it and the next time we go around with the next yarn this is gonna get stuck underneath those stitches and then it won't fall out on you like that. Okay, so now I can safely trim that out and I can also trim out the center ring as well. Okay, so where it's coming out. I just don't wanna chop off my fingers. <laughs> so there you go. So there is my center ring just like this and let's begin round number two. In round number two what's gonna happen here is that we're gonna come up from the top and we're gonna go up and we're gonna do all of our fancy stitch work and then we're gonna skip the next stitch and go into the second over. The reason why I show it to you like this is because in round number three what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the ones that are skipped and then it's gonna attach. So what you're looking at here is that the flower is gonna attach like this skipping over this stitch here but in the next round in round number three what happens is that you're attaching to this one here and then it's gonna skip over to the next one after that. So it's gonna skip over this other one that is right in the middle where this one is currently attached. So it's gonna create a multi-layer effect. So you just gotta remember that you have ten here. We're gonna create a total of five petals in each round and so then the ones that you skip the first time around are the ones that you get to play with in the next round. Let's move along. Also as a reference as we go up in the next part of the petal what's gonna happen is that we're gonna have our amount of stitches and that and the stitches basically tell it how big and wide it's gonna go. So we're gonna go to slip stitch second chain from the hook and then we're gonna go to single crochet half double, double, double and double before you're done. So these get bigger and bigger as you go. So if you need to write that down it's also in the pattern too but I kinda do it like this so that I can just follow down my checklist. Let's begin. So grabbing my next yarn I want to start up and I'm just gonna do this beautiful color here and 
I'm just gonna insert it into one of the stitches. It doesn't matter which one you go. You will go in both loops so it's not, there's no back loops on this one. And you are going to just attach it with a slip stitch. So just pull it around and it's attached. So let's begin. We're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet into the same stitch. So just chain one and single crochet into the same one that you attached it to. And now let's begin to move up on this project. So we're going to chain a seven. So one, two, three, four, five, five, uh, six and seven. Second chain from the hook. So count back one and two. You're going to slip stitch. Just go into the back loop only. So go one, two, turn it around and get the back loop of it. And you're gonna slip stitch it. And then the next one if you saw my little diagram is going to be a single crochet. The next one is gonna be a half double crochet. Okay, the next one is going to be a double crochet. The next one is gonna be a double crochet. And the final one that's available to you is going to be a double crochet. So you're gonna come back down to where you were. So you're gonna skip the next stitch like I promised and go to the second one over and you are going to um, put in a single crochet there. Okay. So this one that you skip in the next round you're gonna be playing in that one. So we're gonna restart again. So we're just gonna chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Second chain from the hook get the back loop only and you're gonna slip stitch the first one. Single crochet the second one. So you're just getting bigger. Half double crochet the next one. And then the final three are gonna be double crochets. So one, two, and three. And that's it. So you're gonna come back down to the ring that you were, skip the next one and single crochet in the next one after that. I'm gonna show this one more time. Make sure you got it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch to the second one in, second one from the hook. Single crochet the next. Half double crochet the next one. And then the final three are gonna be a double crochet each. So one, I really don't need to count it as an experienced crochet because I can see it. But of course I like to count everything just to make sure. And this is the third one. And then come back to the center of the ring again. Skip the next one and single crochet into the next one after that. So you're gonna have a total of five of these going all the way around. Continue to do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around. You can see it's the fifth petal. And so then the final one goes into the very starting one there. Okay, so just make it go over. And what you want to do is that you want to, instead of single crocheting that in, you just wanna slip stitch it. So just pull it together because it's already kind of existing there. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to chain up one and this time we're gonna reach over. So put, the, you can either go in the front or in the back. Okay, so just push it behind and go to that one that is just sitting by itself and that's where you're gonna single crochet. So just reach over and do that. And that's where you're gonna start your first petal. So I'm gonna push all these petals in behind so it's out of the way. So I'm gonna chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And what I want to do then in this one here is that I wanna do the exact same thing. So second chain from the hook, I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to put in a single crochet. And then the next one is a half double crochet. So wrap that hook first. And then the final three will each be a double crochet. So you already know how to do these. So you can see making a pair of flip flops or using this kind of design for, for much of anything is going to be really quite quick. So now that you have these all completely done, uh, this petal done, you are going to then just push back the next petal and then just uh, single crochet into the one that is exposed. Okay, the one that's not used and then therefore what's gonna happen is that this, this layer here is going to sit in front of the other layer that is in behind. So it didn't matter which one you wanted to do whether you went forward or back. So let's just review one more time. So chain seven. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Second chain from the hook. You're gonna slip it. That gives you the point. 
the next one is gonna be a single crochet, the next one is gonna be a half double, okay, and then the final three are going to be doubles. So one, and two, and three. And once you got that done, just move along and just go to the next petal, flip it back and get to the one right in the middle and you're going to single crochet. So please do that all the way around. So I'm just coming up all the way around. I got my last petal done. So what I want to do is go to where the first petal is sitting, okay, and I just wanna join it with a slip stitch and I want to finish that off. So I'm just gonna take my uh, yarn, gonna cut a little bit of a longer string this time. I'm going to use a darning needle to get this in and into position. Just pulling it through the final loop here. And let's just uh, put this into a darning needle and let's hide in the work. So it's with these kind of things because it's on your feet, you may, uh, you're, you're gonna wanna take the extra time. So just sliding into the, underneath the stitches. Just like this. And if you go in three different directions, it'll never fall out on you. So just make sure that you pull it through. And then going back in the same direction you just came from, but through a different path of fibers. Then it will get really truly stuck in there. And that was number two. And then finally going back in the other direction for number three. So this would be how you would complete one of these uh, daisy flowers. You can have a lot of fun with the different colors. And so now that you have that done, you can just simply trim it right down to the project here. Um, you can get rid of the yarn that you started off with as well. Okay, and, and all you just need to do then is to shape. You can get these wet it is cotton yarn and then just shape it accordingly in order to have the most perfect flower ever. So it's really kind of a neat idea and this is how you would do one of the daisies as you would see on yarnspirations.com. And so if you wanna apply this to um, flip flops, all you just have to do is apply some glue on the corner, on the middle here. Try not to expose it in the middle there and then just stick it to the top of your flip flop and you're good to go. Till next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations as well as the crochet crowd.com. Have a great day and we'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.